what is going on welcome back to the channel today we're going to be uh working on some more interior stuff for the truck back here so uh if you've been seeing some of the other videos again i don't know how i'm putting these up so they might be all out of order but uh next thing i want to do on the truck is uh replace the carpet so i already got a little ahead of myself i pulled the back seat out um which is quite a mess as you can see this truck originally came as a conversion so it came with uh, like shag carpeting which this original color I kind of dig I wish I wish it wasn't so faded and nasty um, but I got to get all this out there's tons of dog hair and stuff that I couldn't get underneath the seat before so I got to get the front seat out which is uh, is also from a conversion I believe really sure it's not a 60 40 it's like uh 30 30 30 it's it's uh pretty interesting it's it's almost like buckets with like no um armrest but the center of this one does fold down i don't remember there's a mechanism in here somewhere but also this folds out Ugh. and there's storage underneath here so it's it's essentially a console this folded down before and it used to have like cup holders and stuff on the back of this which i don't know how i'm gonna fix that at this point maybe i can get one like one of those wood ones off of a different conversion um that's about it right now so the plan is to get these front seats out and then start pulling the carpet and then i want to lay down um i've got some sound deadener i'm probably gonna uh, power wash the floor to get uh, as much of the crap out of here and glue and stuff especially since I still have the door panels off I'm not really going to be uh, hurting anything so yeah I think that's where we're going to be at and uh, I guess let's get to it So one thing I learned from taking the back seat out, which if I didn't explain it before, the back seat in this is a fold down bed. So this was a bonus cab, which means it came with no rear seat option. Um, it was up to the dealer or somebody else to put something back there. Um, in this case, again, it was a conversion. So they put a fold down bed. What I learned from that was you cannot get the frame out without taking the seat off the frame, um, which, helped me with this front one because it's the same exact scenario so if you look at these bolts you got one here you got one here and you could probably access this one although it's very tight with the back of the seat coming down about here um, this one would be near impossible to get to without taking the seat off so that's what i did here is i took the the driver and the passenger seat off the center i'm not sure if it comes off or not i'm haven't got that far also don't need it i looked under the truck it looks like there's only four bolts that hold the frame to the floor so that'll be the next step is uh get those four bolts out off the floor um so they are nutted on the bottom side so i'm probably just going to put a vice grip or something on it and then uh just pull it out from the top and then from there hopefully take the frame out get this carpet out of here i'm probably not going to even vacuum it because it's not worth saving any of the garbage that's in here so pull the carpet out throw it away and then move on to the next step so i guess let's get to that
All right, I think that's gonna do it for today. There's still a lot to do, obviously, but I got everything removed, power washed. I blew it out with my leaf blower to dry it off. There's still, I mean, if it's on here, I scraped a bunch of it. I'm sure you probably saw some of that. That's just that old glue, but uh, looks pretty good to me. So next step is uh, I've got some sound deadener. I don't think I have any jute, so I think I'm just going to use sound deadener. But it's in like square sheets, so this is a very curvy floor. So I'm not sure how it's going to adhere. Might have to cut it up in sections and just kind of piece it around, but I guess we'll see. I've never done anything like that before. I've never taken, I've taken my Monte Carlo apart this far, but it's never gone back together. So this is in hopes that this all goes back together. So uh, aside from that, actually, now that it's apart, I would like to put my stereo in it. So I built a speaker box for this thing some years ago, and uh, it would be nice to put that in here, especially now that everything is out. It'd be so easy to run the wires and everything that I need. And I can see where all the holes are for the seats. And I can go around all that and run the wires nice under the uh, under the carpet. So that's probably going to happen after the jute. I mean, the uh, sound deadener. I would probably put that on top, tape it down, and then put the carpet. I'm not positive. I think that's how it goes. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. I appreciate it. If you can, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, see you guys next time.